Hello, this is a key stage three chemistry video looking at the changes of state. So to help us understand this idea, we've got a solid such as ice. If we were to magnify many, many, many times part of this solid, we would see that it is made of particles. So here are the particles shown. Now remember, while these are the particles, this is just the model to show how the particles might be arranged. So this is a simplified model. The, arrange the arrangement of particles in real life is in 3D and not 2D. There's also one or two other differences. For example, the particles are not solid circles like this, and also uh, one or two other things. However, we're gonna use a model to help us understand how particles behave during changes of state. Let's magnify a little bit more. So we're gonna take a look at just a few of those particles. And the first thing to remember is that the particles are in a lattice structure. That means they're in rows and columns. So we can see the rows and columns in our little diagram there. And we describe that as being in a lattice structure. The other thing to remember is that the particles vibrate gently in their positions. So the particles there are vibrating gently in their positions. So this is how the particles are arranged and how they behave in a solid material. For example, some ice. Now let's imagine we could melt this ice so we could put it in a beaker so that we could heat it. So there goes the ice into a beaker and there it is ready to be heated. The solid in a beaker to be heated. We could apply some heat and the ice would start melting. The ice starts melting and as it melts, we get the formation of a liquid. So the ice melts, turns to liquid. What happens with the particles? Well, we saw that the particles are arranged in a lattice structure in the previous slide, and there they are. They vibrate gently in their positions. However, once we heat this material, the particles will gain energy. They will gain energy and vibrate more. Now it's important that we use the idea that they vibrate more and that we don't think of them as starting to vibrate. So we don't say they start to vibrate, they vibrate more, they're already vibrating to start with. The energy allows them to vibrate more. And as they do this, they break free from their positions or they can break free from their positions. The solid melts and turns to a liquid the solid melts and turns to a liquid. Now again, it's important that we say, or we know and understand that it's the solid that melts and not the particles that are melting. The particles do not melt, they cannot melt, they can only move further apart or closer together. So the solid melts and turns into a liquid. So we could take a look at exactly how the particles behave. So here they are, as they were before, they gain energy, they vibrate more, and they break free from their positions the solid now becomes a liquid. This is the idea of melting. Let's take a look to see what happens when a liquid turns to gas. So again, we can heat our liquid. The liquid will start boiling eventually and it turns to a gas. The liquid turns to a gas by boiling. Now again, let's take a look at the particles. Here they are. And the key things to remember is that the particles gain even more energy and move faster. We could say they gain kinetic energy and they move faster. And as a result, the particles move further apart from each other. This means the liquid will boil. So we say the liquid boils and turns to gas. And again, it's important to remember that the, it's the liquid that boils and not the particles that boil. Particles cannot boil, they can only move further apart or move closer together. So the liquid boils and turns into a gas. Here they are, they gain energy and they break free from their positions and move further apart. The liquid has now become a gas. So we can summarize this idea on one slide and put all the key terms and ideas together. So here we have the diagrams of the different states and the particle arrangement. So we have our solid on the left hand side, for example, some ice. We heat it and it will start melting. It will then turn to liquid. So the solid will turn to liquid. And then we can heat the liquid and the liquid will start boiling eventually and the liquid will turn 
to gas. So we can describe and summarize what happens at each stage. So during melting, the particles gain energy. We can say they gain kinetic energy and vibrate more. And the particles will break free from their positions and separate. So this will allow the solid to become a liquid. During boiling, the particles gain even more energy or even more kinetic energy and they move faster and the particles will move further apart. This is the idea of boiling and the liquid turns to gas. This is an idea that we didn't look at yet, so let's just make a note of this. When we go from gas to liquid, we can cool the gas. The gas will start condensing. The particles lose energy now and they move more slowly. They lose kinetic energy and they move closer together. When we go from liquid to solid, this is freezing. And again, we would cool the liquid. It would start freezing and eventually turn to solid. So again, the particles lose energy. They move more slowly and they move closer together to form the solid. So this is a good little summary of the different changes of state and the reasons why they happen. Now, you may have come across this idea of what we call forces of attraction, forces of attraction, and these exist between the particles. So there are forces of attraction between the particles in solids, liquids, and gases, and those forces of attraction hold the particles together. However, when we heat, for example, a solid, the particles will gain energy, they will break free, and they will overcome those forces of attraction between the particles. So every time they're moving further apart because of energy, the, they are overcoming the forces of attraction that are holding those particles together. So that's just a little extra explanation that um, you might add when you're describing what's going on with changes of state. Let's take a look at what a question might look at to finish off. So here is a question asking about the changes of state going from a solid to a liquid. It says, explain what happens when a solid changes to a liquid. Use the idea of particles in your answer. So we have the particles vibrate more because they gain kinetic energy. This is when they are heated. This means the particles move apart from each other and therefore the solid melts. The solid melts. We can also add the idea that the particles overcome the forces of attraction between them. And this is why they move apart from each other. Now this is a question that's worth a maximum of three marks, but there are four different things that you could say. You won't get more than three marks for this question. However, any three of these things on the screen, if you mention them, would gain a mark. So this is how you would answer a question like this. Here is one that is not answered as well. So it's the same question as before, but this time the person has just written down that the particles start to vibrate because they gain energy. Now on the surface of it, this looks like a good answer, but remember we said that the particles in a solid, when they're heated, don't start to vibrate. They're already vibrating. We would have to say that they vibrate more. They vibrate more, not that they start to vibrate. Other than that, that's a good uh, introduction to an answer for this, but we would need to add one or two more things as we did when we asked this question previously. Okay, so that's it for the video today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.